links of chain. Every link was freedom's name. Pharaoh's arm got drowned. And oh, Mary, don't you weep. Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you mourn. Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you mourn. Pharaoh's army got drowned. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. One fine day, it won't be long. You wake up in the morning and Crestwood's gone. Yeah. Pharaoh's army got drowned. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sandra Steingraber with We Are Seneca Lake. So there are MLK Day events happening all across the nation right now. Um, and these events are intended to reclaim and enact the legacy of Dr. King. We Are Seneca Lake is deeply inspired and has been since the beginning of our campaign by the words and actions of Martin Luther King Jr. It's something that Dr. King said when he said, we who engage in nonviolent direct action are not the creators of tension, but rather we are bringing to the surface the hidden tension that already exists. Dr. King also said that we need to use love and resolve to foster that tension into a crisis so that it compels a community that has con constantly refused to negotiate back to the negotiating table. And just as the civil rights movement had to play to two audiences, the local government, the local sheriff, and the local community that was oppressing them, and also to a national stage, to the White House itself, we too are playing to two audiences. Our message goes out to local elected officials, the local sheriff, the local people who live in this community of which we are members. But we are also playing to a national stage because it was the approval of the federal government for this facility that has created this tension and this crisis. And we seek to reverse that uh, decision. Finally, King said that justice requires action. He said that our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. What matters to us here in the Finger Lakes is clean water and clean air and the ability to turn water into wine and the ability to create such a beautiful place that tourists and visitors from all over the world want to live here. Wine and tourism are the twin pillars of our economy and what Crestwood has in mind undermines all that. And we declare that we will not be silent about those things which matter deeply to us. Here's one big difference between our campaign and the original civil rights campaign that Dr. King led. He talked about the need to create a beloved community. And for those uh, uh, black Americans who lived in the 1950s and 60s, they had no beloved community. They had to have a vision and create it. We are lucky that we do have a beloved community. Um, and our opponent is not a homegrown uh, uh, system of oppression the way the civil rights leaders had to face off with, but rather um, is an outsider to us, an invader, a recent interloper from Texas that seeks to turn our community uh, into something that we don't want and so undermine our self-determination. And in a larger way, the whole fossil fuel industry is threatening our children and, and, the, and threatens their future and poisons their present lives. And we are being held hostage by this brutal industry. So ours is a liberation movement, not only for Crestwood, but the larger oil and gas industry of which Crestwood is a member. And we are speaking with our bodies and our voices because these are the things that matter to us and we will not be silent because we are Seneca Lake. Lake. New York, New York, if we can go green here, we'll go green everywhere. It's up to us. New York, New York. New York. <laughs> <laughs>